Hey everyone, this is Lucy. I'm a solutions architect working at AWS. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through three beginner friendly AWS cloud projects. Now, as I've said on this channel over and over again, the best way to build your hands-on experience with AWS is by creating a cloud project. Certifications are a great starting point, but to really bridge that gap between your theoretical knowledge and what's required to land a job in the cloud, it's important for you to think about how you can use multiple AWS services together to build a solution. This solution could be a static website, a mobile application, or even a chatbot that can respond to simple queries. The possibilities are endless, but the problem is, how do you get started? Should you read through hundreds of pages of documentation first, or should you just jump straight into it and hope for the best? Well, to be honest, there's no one correct approach when it comes to starting a cloud project. Some people prefer to follow a step-by-step -step tutorial, while others might want the flexibility to build something without the exact instructions already provided to them. My personal preference and what I recommend to beginners is to follow a guided tutorial for your first cloud project. And more importantly, focus on the fundamental AWS services. Services like Amazon EC2, RDS, Route 53, and so on. By working with these services and connecting them together, you'll end up gaining a much deeper understanding of how the cloud works. So with all that being said, let's jump straight into project number one. The first project is to deploy a WordPress application on AWS. This is probably the best beginner-friendly project to put onto your resume because it not only uses a lot of AWS core services, but it's also a pretty common architectural pattern that many AWS customers adopt. You can see here that the solution involves a VPC with public and private subnets, along with services like Amazon EC2, RDS, EFS, and a few other components. So if you'd like to build this out, here are two options I'd recommend. The first option is to use this three hour video course that walks through each step of the process. The reason I recommend this is because I actually bought this course exactly a year ago and I used it to help me with a presentation at work where I had to demonstrate how to deploy a WordPress website on AWS. I found the video demos very easy to understand because all I had to do was follow exactly what was shown on the screen and listen to the instructions. I've actually reached out to Aziz, the course creator, to ask if we can get a discount for the Tech with Lucy community, and he was able to generate a promo code for 20% off. So if you'd like to buy the course, you can click on the link in the video description below and type in Tech with Lucy in the promo code section when you check out. The second option is to build the project with the help of free AWS tutorials and documentation. I found a free tutorial that explains how to deploy and host a WordPress website. The only thing to note is that this one uses AWS Elastic Beanstalk, which means that it automatically handles part of the deployment for you. So if you decide to go with this tutorial, I'd recommend trying to set up the VPC and subnets manually without the help of Elastic Beanstalk. That way you can learn more about the underlying networking layer of the application. So regardless of how you decide to build it out, the end result is a WordPress application that's hosted on Amazon EC2, connected with an RDS database, and is publicly accessible over the internet. So once you've completed the project, you'll be able to add this line onto your resume and talk about the project in your interviews. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel because I'll be making more videos on how to build AWS cloud projects, as well as provide advice on how to land a job in the cloud industry. The second project is to build a serverless web application on AWS. But before we get into it, I'd like to take a moment to introduce today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. If you have specific skills you're trying to learn, Skillshare is a great place to start. From tech and finance to productivity, graphic design, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. Here is a class by Hashtag Learning providing an absolute beginner's introduction to Amazon Web Services. If you're at the start of a cloud learning journey, I would recommend checking out the class. I joined Skillshare to learn more about tech and productivity, and by taking classes like these, I hope to continue building my skills. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the video description below will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So project number two is to create a serverless web application using a bunch of AWS services, including AWS Lambda, Amazon API Gateway, AWS Amplify, and so on. A serverless architecture is a way to build and run applications and services without having to manage infrastructure. And so this solution is great for companies who don't want to spend time provisioning, scaling, and maintaining their servers. In this tutorial, you'll create a simple web application that enables users to request unicorn rides from the Wild Rides fleet. In this case, Wild Rides is basically like Uber, but instead of cars, you have unicorns. So you'll start off with using AWS Amplify to host your website and then create a Cognito user pool to manage user accounts. 
After that, you'll build a serverless backend and develop a RESTful API. If none of that made any sense to you, don't worry. The tutorial explains everything as you go along the steps. You can see here that they estimate it will take around two hours to complete, and it's a tutorial that's aimed at beginners. Project number three is where things get interesting. In this project, you'll get the chance to explore AWS services like Amazon Connect and Amazon Lex. Amazon Connect is a cloud contact center service, and Amazon Lex is used for building conversational interfaces for applications using voice and text. You'll see these two services commonly used by companies who want a way to provide a personalized experience for their customers. So in this workshop, you'll initially build a very simple example of a flow for a customer service chatbot using Amazon Lex. And this is for a fictitious fintech company. Once you've built the chatbot, you're integrated with Amazon Connect to create a call center workflow. I've tried out this workshop myself, and this is probably the one I had the most fun doing. I'll put a link to the workshop as well as everything else we mentioned in the video description below if you want to give it a go yourself. All right, so there you have it. Three beginner-friendly AWS cloud projects to help you build your technical skills and land a job in the cloud industry. Don't forget to give this video a like if you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.